You're watching Telecom TV from the TIP Summit at the Fuse 2022 event in Madrid. And joining me now is Christian Tuva, who is the Executive Director of the Telecom Infra Project. Christian, it's very good to meet you because you've only been in this role for a few months now. Um, what attracted you to TIP? What was it about TIP that, that, you, that, that you, you saw? You obviously saw something very exciting in TIP. So first of all, it's great to be here. Thank you for inviting me for the interview. And indeed, I started 1st of June. So if I calculate correctly, we are on the fifth or sixth months as we speak. And uh, it's been a, quite a journey. What attracted me, I would say I spent more than 30 years in the network domain, actually in driving R&D and product development, and then also in various type of sales roles. I did a stint in media and IT, and then there came an opportunity to come back to the networking domain, but particularly with the angle of doing things that are different. And that truly attracted me. Here we are in 2022. What is TIP's role within the industry? Has, has it changed since it was created? Uh, yeah, I think, I think we are in the middle of doing that change. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of focus in the early days when TIP was started in 2016 to get technology development going, get proof points, get trials, plug fests of various kind. Uh, I think we've come to a point where a number of those projects have actually led to products being uh, ready for the market. Some of them actually being rolled out as we speak. We heard today in the main stage sessions, for example, about some of the transport network solutions being in actual commercial deployment and um, also when we've heard yesterday in the Open RAN Summit, which is also my personal opinion, Open RAN is, has grown up and is ready for commercial deployment. And with that, TIP's role is also evolving. And we've kind of set out certain stakes, which is that we would even further focus on ensuring that commercial grade readiness for the products with a clear ambition that this would speed up shorten the time to market and also enable the operators to quicker adopt and avoid duplication of work. So that is really where we are targeting TIP's role and that is also where the board of TIP is guiding me to put the focus. And how important is it to have this community of, of not just vendors, uh, but also operators? You've got all sorts, SIs, you've got a lot of different, different companies involved here. How is important is it to create this ecosystem, if you like, and also have them being active. Yeah, so I, th I think it's absolutely essential because the nature of what we are doing, open and dis disaggregated uh, connectivity, means that uh, we do need to work with clear objectives in mind, kind of demand uh, objectives, which can only come if uh, leading operators align and share their main um, priorities and expectations. And in the same way, uh, what we are working on is fairly complex. Hence, the power of a community to bring in different angles to the actual technology development and new thinking and innovation creates like a feedback, positive feedback loop. And I think we've seen that in some of the products that now have been kind of coming to a level where they can start to be deployed. I think we have seen that also being applied to a large extent in the open RAN uh, domain and there is more to come. And what are the key areas that you would say the industry and especially the TIP community should be focusing on now and in the, in the coming years? So beyond working on those products and solutions that I just mentioned, uh, within those domains or subdomains, if you like, I think there are a couple of very clear uh, uh, areas of focus that would be required and actually they have been also mentioned in some of the keynotes and panels uh, over the last two days. One which is very obvious to all of us uh, is to continue to work on energy efficiency. I mean, we all face that uh, due both to the sustainability targets and of course in the type of uh, political crisis that we face uh, uh, in the world. So that clearly will be a focus and I think there's a lot of innovation to be done in that space uh, that will fit into the already done work. Another topic, which also is kind of a topic of our time, is security. 
And yes, that is obviously something that permeates everything that uh, will be done. There's been quite a lot of debate about that topic. Are open system more prone to security risks and breaches? I would see it the other way around. They enable us to speed up the way we can close any potential threats. And then there's another topic that um, is not so much technology oriented, but it has to do with the actual operational transformation. Uh, when you actually go to open and disaggregated. In my mind, it resembles very much uh, the transformation we have already experienced in the enterprise IT space by going to cloud. Uh, because that have lent, uh, meant that the actual users of that technology need to think through their business processes and they need to upskill their staff. And I think we will see something similar when we go in with a really broad base of deployment of open and disaggregated technologies, that this will have a profound impact, particularly on the operator's model of running their networks, deploying products and so forth. And this is an area that I think there's much more to be done. We've started the TIP Academy, as you know, as a first step, but there's much more to be done. Well, those are some of the areas that the industry needs to focus on. But what about, what about any challenges that are remaining on this journey towards open and disaggregated networks? Are there specific challenges that, that TIP and TIP members can help address? Yes. So one of the key topics that has been mentioned in, in, in the talks over these two days, and quite frankly, has also been mentioned uh, sometimes in the in the professional press as a challenge is the actual consequence of disaggregation, which means it becomes challenging to pull it all back together for a commercial deployment and operation. And uh, there's no, no reason to, to, to not accept that this is a challenge. And this is obviously an area where the industry needs to focus and will focus. And for me, as, as new in leading tip, and the team that uh, is in charge together with the community. We already have identified that as the main topic where we can bring more value to the community because there are solutions to do that without falling back to, let's say, the more traditional way, which is kind of one vendor-led uh, product development and deployment. But that needs to be solved and will be solved, in my opinion. Well, we look forward to seeing what TIP can achieve over the coming year. For now, though, Christian, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Guy. It's a pleasure.